Hi and welcome to my cockpit again. I'll demonstrate the air core project going on on Viperpit on the main panel. So um, at this time we have four uh, gauges and one fuel flow. The gauges are driven by um, air cores and the fuel flow is interfaced with the ASRAM. That's the canopy closing so we can start the engine. Flipping some switches, getting ready. So I'll start now uh, the GFS that will increase RPM to 20-25% at which point the throttle will be moved out of the cutoff position to the idle position and that will actually start the engine indication of engine start is the needle going past 25% RPM and around 45-50% you will hear the GFS switch clicking off the nozzle is opening fully and systems are coming online further down the ramp start we check nozzle operation by uh, doing the sec check so uh, we select SEC and the nozzle is opening fully and we go back to norm and the nozzle is closing. Let's now do a uh, takeoff roll, so starting on the runway. We go full military power. Then AB, we see the nozzle opening. Check the fuel flow as well. Accelerating down the runway, starting our climb, the gear will come up. Out of AB, nozzle is closing, and decreasing the RPM back to 90%. That's a close-up of the fuel flow. As you can uh, notice, the second digit from the right is uh, moving. Uh, it's an option you have in the software. You can have it display zero just uh, like in Falcon or you can have the full set uh, of information from the shared memory it's pretty silent that's for you Ray close-up of the RPM gauge. It's actually a dual gauge for me since I fly both the F-16 Black 52 and the F-16 Black 50 in the Falcon. So the red line is uh, my military trust for the Black 52 and here it's a Black 50 uh, with a 110% RPM. Close-up of the nozzle um, gauge and the oil gauge. That's a very good indication of AB or dry military trust. Nozzle opening, AB, nozzle closing, your own dry military trust. And we will end up today's demo with the FTRT gauges.